We're now going to look at using existing drawing data by way of an AutoCAD drawing. In fact, an AutoCAD 3D drawing. So you'll notice we have the drawing open 3D underscore model. And we're actually in an isometric view of a small 3D part. So you can see there we've got some filleted slots in a little steel block. Now you'll notice over on the view cube that I'm in this particular isometric view. And you'll notice over here on the view center there, SW isometric, southwest isometric. And I've set it to a realistic visual style, as you can see there. Now the reason I've done that is so that it actually looks 3D, more to the point. Now, when you're in a 3D model, or perhaps bringing in information from something like Autodesk Inventor, a 3D mechanical modeling product, you can actually utilize the model documentation and create views from the 3D model. So what we need to do is we need to go to one of the layout tabs, bottom left corner of the screen, because right now we're in the model space. So I'm gonna just click on layout one, and you can see that it is a blank layout. Now, sometimes you will get this dialog box pop up, the page setup manager. That will pop up by default sometimes, depending on your settings in AutoCAD Mechanical. If it does pop up, just close it. It's prompting you to set up a page setup for plotting in that particular layout tab. Now, I'm not worried about a title block. I'm not worried about plotting. What I want to show you is the ability to utilize the model documentation from the 3D model. So you're now in the layout one tab down here. You now need to go to the layout tab on the ribbon up here. And we're gonna to go to this create view section here on the panel. And we're gonna click on the flyout underneath base. And you'll notice you can go from model space or from Autodesk Inventor. We're gonna go from model space from our model, our little slotted block that we've got in model space. As Soon as I click on that, you'll notice it allows me to specify the location of the base view. Now notice at the top as well, can you see I can change the view that I want to use? So up here on the ribbon, it's changed now and I can change settings. So what do I want? Do I have top view, front view, what do I want? Now what I can do here is I can go to the top view, which is the view that I want. Can you see that's the plan view on the slotted block? So I'm just gonna click somewhere in the layout space like that. Now, before you do, have a look. You can set a scale. So I might want it at one to 10, perhaps. It makes it a little smaller. If I go to something like one to five, that makes it a tad bigger, which is quite nice on that sheet size. Now, edge visibility. Do I want to be able to see the edges? Maybe I do. So I can show the interference edges and the tangent edges. I'm gonna switch that on and I'm gonna show the tangent edges foreshortened as well. I'm also gonna set it here. I want to see shaded with visible lines like that. So all of those settings are set in the ribbon before I even place that location of my base view. So I'll pop that in the top left corner and click, and there's my view there. Now, as soon as you click there, you get the option to change the orientation, hidden lines, scale, visibility, all of the settings that you set up here in the ribbon. So you click on the green tick to say that that view is okay. Then it will prompt you. As you can see, as you drag down, there's another view there, which is the, in essence, the plan view looking down. And then I can come across this way. I can place the side view. And even better still, I get a beautiful isometric as well. Once I'm done with those, I just press enter and it shows me all those shaded edges. And that's just from my little 3D model in my model space in AutoCAD Mechanical. Isn't it rather lovely? How quick and easy is it to develop those views in AutoCAD Mechanical like that? So you'll find those in the Layout tab on the ribbon when you're in one of the Layout views in AutoCAD Mechanical.